then Brazil, uh, Terry Gilliam did Brazil. We got eight million pounds to do it, 15 million dollars. And uh, in fact, well, we were going over budget, but the pound was changing in relation to the dollar. So this is all, as soon as the idea that Terry shot De Niro and the first piece of paper goes on his face to get rid of him. And then I shot all the rest with a, with a stuntman as soon as his face is covered. And uh, in fact, what I'm doing is shooting backwards. The paper's on him and we're pulling it off with wires. So it looks like it's coming to him. And again, the cheap tricks are the best ones. Um, Terry went on and I didn't do it I didn't do uh, Munchausen Munchausen cost 45 million that's not doing it my cheap way <laughs> so I did save quite a bit of money on these things it was a wonderful it had loads of imagery in it wonderful imagery in fact we were coming back uh, we'd just done Jagwalking we were coming back from Pembrokeshire and uh, we were going past Port Talbot and I'd done a film for the Welsh Docks Board and um, I, I said, here listen, I, I know you can come and see these great cranes that are unloading iron ore in Port Talbot and I drove in there, I knew how to get in without you know, any permission to me we drove down and Terry said, this is, what, this is the film I want to make, it's called Brazil and I couldn't see why it should be called Brazil and why these machinery, <laughs> and there is a shot in a big factory in, uh, in Brazil, but not much of it is in the, in the thing. Um, I mean, it does have all, all tubes that have now become quite fashionable to put all your ducting in. And the film starts, I've shot some adverts to go in on the tellies in the film. And I got a friend who, um, to do, uh, this film starts with somebody going, I want to talk to you about ducts, and he does an advert. And he's suddenly the first person who speaks in Brazil. So every, this actor is always being asked for his, 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 you know, his, his autograph because he's the first person who speaks in Brazil. It was never meant to be. It was just an accident of fate that we uh, cut it that way around. <laughs>